morning, gentlemen. Finch, where were you last night, huh? What happened to that foolproof plan of yours? Well, I was going for a fashionably late entrance, and I was too late, so no ladies left. She doesn't want me to worry that she might be worried. So I'm worried. Recon. Let's go. Hey, guys, I've been running these numbers here, and I don't think the four of us can afford this place. Not on summer jobs. <laughs> Gentlemen. Finch? Finch. Oh, great my to see God. you, James. Finch at all, Jim. Good to see you. I'm available, she's available, it's all good. She's a beautiful girl and you're you. Hey bro, hey man, you're the guy who bones Stifler's mom. Hey, you are a god. Holy sh dude. If I didn't have to hold my because I got a pistol bet, I would shake your hand. I'm honored, guys. No, don't leave. You must teach me. How? What? What is it? I just got this feeling like something really bad's about to happen. Don't worry. So you're enjoying yourself? Um, three sheets to the wind, man. I'm so happy for you. But it takes the edge off, doesn't it? So where's your little date tonight? Oh, no date. It was... It was a bathroom incident. What the f*** are you doing in here? Just, just relax. You get out of my house! Jesus Christ! Go back here, you little Okay, guys, we went through this last summer, all right? Finch got a black eye and Stippler got six stitches. Did you f***ing bit me! You touch me, I bite. Find a wonderful place somewhere. I promise we'll keep looking. It's a palace. It's a temple. We were doing the wild thing all night. I'm exhausted. I don't get it. I mean, how the hell did you do that? It was just my time. It was just my time. Best of luck to you boys. I cannot believe this. Come on, guys, you know? We should be happy for Sherman. No, we shouldn't be. Jim, your suspicions are confirmed. Michelle wants a dress that she can't get. The dress she wants is Amsale. They have a store in Chicago. Now, if we leave right now, we can get there by the time they close. Three hour drive. So, mademoiselle, I'm sure that you can appreciate that Monsieur here is stuck right between Scylla and Charybdis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm afraid he's no Ulysses. <laughs> okay, wh what's happening here? Jesus! You f***ing stalker! You're not a very stealthy thief. Oh, really? Guess what, break? It's a wedding. Everything's free. What do you want? Well, Stifler, Jim's grandma doesn't approve of the wedding. We're trying to run interference, and reluctantly, I am asking for your help. Hmm. Sorry, Finchmeister. I got plans with Cadence. <laughs> Stifler, maybe you could forget about your for one second and actually be useful. You have anything to drink? I believe the kegs are upstairs. That is what the Cretans drink. I'm talking about alcohol, liquor, the good stuff. All right. I got some scotch. Single malt? Aged 18 years. The way I like it. Why don't you go grab a glass from the bar? I think I should. Allow me. We had to, attention that we crave. Don't tell us to behave. I'm sick of always hearing that you rage. I don't want to raise my time. All right, Stifler, if you're going to be living with us, you got to behave yourself. All right, you and Finch, just stay out of each other's way. Kevin, Stifler's stench is unavoidable. Finch, yourself. Thank you.
do that magic you did. Thanks for helping out. We're so close and there's still so much to do. Cadence! Finch, meet my younger sister, Kate. Nice to meet you. You're reading Descartes. Yep. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am. Hungry. <laughs> Hungry. So, when's Mark getting in? Uh, let's see. That would be never. Did you guys break up? How tragic. Uh, so after my troubles in Beijing, I just moved to Dubai, and then I got all caught up in the world underground Baccarat. Spent the rest of 09 living with this African tribe. Oh, they made me an honorary tribesman. Oh, whoa, that looks like it hurt. It looks like that because it did hurt, Kevin. Oh, since then, just been uh, biking through South America. So basically, you are the most interesting man in the world. Yeah. So I said, this is very obviously a Pierre della Francesca. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, would you object if I said that you were quite striking? Mr. Finch, are you trying to seduce me? Yes, ma'am, I am. Hey, tough guy. Stifler's mom. Well, we meet again. I was curious. Didn't see you here. I try to keep a low profile. I never really did like these things anyway. You know, this has actually made quite an impression on me. I have something to look for in a woman now. Well, if this is your idea of a proposal, Finchie, you gotta know that I'm over you now. And I'm over you. But as they say, we will always have Paris. And the pool table. And the car. And the two-room suite I have upstairs. Come here. It's a sweet car. It is sweet. Where's Finch going? Stifler's mom. Hey, Finchie. How did you know I was here? I called a couple of weeks ago. Didn't Stephen tell you that I was going to drop by sometime? I guess it uh, slipped his mind. Hey, what's your name? Janine. Janine. OK, uh, well, I've been thinking. And you know, I'm 19 years old. And there's a whole world out there. I, I can't be obsessed with one woman. Just can't be. I'm glad you're learning, Finchie. Good. Good. You want to get it on? You better clear your schedule. See you guys later. Where are you going, man? What about dog years? Uh, give me like, uh, three days. Wait, was that? Was that who I, who I think? No. Yeah. Mom, Mom? Shipwreck? Oh, hey, Stifler. I guess I could come along one of your adventures. Am I good sidekick material? Sidekick? I, I think you are a lot more than sidekick mm -hmm. material. Is everything okay? It's better than ever. What made Grandma come around? Oh, Finch said Stifler to talk to her. Stifler? Grandmother. You're a mother. Yes, I am. 